Hey guys, a bunch of people mentioned me in this one, so let's do this. X squared plus Y squared equals 25, and then 2X plus Y equals 10. Now we want to evaluate X plus Y. So first, let's focus on the 2X plus Y equals 10. Let's get the Y all by itself. Let's subtract 2X from both sides. On the left-hand side, we just have Y, and on the right-hand side, we have 10 minus 2X. And this is important, so let's put a box around it. Next, let's focus on the X squared plus Y squared equals 25. Let's bring it down, and in the place of this Y right here, I want to plug in 10 minus 2X. So now this is 10 minus 2x being squared, so we're going to multiply 10 minus 2x times 10 minus 2x. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times negative 2x is negative 20x. Negative 2x times 10 is negative 20x. And negative 2x times negative 2x is positive 4x squared. And these two can combine to become negative 40x. Let's bring down the x squared and bring down the equals 25. Anytime I do one of these, several people always mention, why don't I do this shortcut? Well, I did try it out and it ended up not being much of a shortcut. It doesn't flow as nicely as this method in these videos. So now let's combine like terms. X squared plus 4X squared is 5X squared. We can bring down the negative 40X. And then if we subtract 25 from both sides, 100 minus 25 is 75 and 25 minus 25 is zero. From here, all three of these terms are divisible by five. So let's divide both sides by five. Each of these terms will divide by five to give us X squared minus 8X plus 15, and it's still equal to zero. And now to solve this, we want to factor. We want two numbers that will add to negative eight and multiply to positive 15. Well, negative three plus negative five will give us negative eight and negative three times negative five will give us positive 15. So these are the factors of this. So from here, if this equals zero or if this equals zero, the whole thing will equal zero because anything times zero equals zero. So we have this or this. And if we add three to both sides, we get X equals three. And if we add five to both sides, we get X equals five. So X can be either three or five. So we don't really need any of this work anymore. And let's bring these up here. Since our goal is to figure out what is X plus Y, we want to find out our corresponding Y values. So let's use this two X plus Y equals 10. We'll copy it down, solve for Y in the place of this X. Let's plug in three. Two times three is six. Let's subtract six from both sides and we get Y equals four. And same thing for this one. If we plug in five for the X, two times five is 10. Subtract 10 from both sides and we get Y equals zero. These are our two possible scenarios. And we want to evaluate X plus Y for each of these scenarios. For the first scenario, X plus Y ends up being three plus four, which is equal to seven. And for this scenario, X plus Y is five plus zero, which is equal to five. And these are the two possible answers answers to the question x plus y equals 7 or x plus y equals 5. And if you want to see what this looks like graphically, here it is right here. The x squared plus y squared equals 25 is the red circle and the 2x plus y equals 10 is this blue line. And here's our two intersection points, 3, 4, and 5, 0. How exciting.